Thank you so much. Well, a new organization is growing out of the pandemic. Its goal is to help bring back the economy in Indianapolis by promoting the culture of the city. It's called Gang Gang. We sat down with its founder, Molly Jeffers and Alan Bacon, both of whom already have years of experience in promoting culture in Indy. Gosh, I think, you know, 2020 has birthed Gang Gang, right? Like everything that made 2020 what it is. Over the summer, we, you know, we're thinking about how to come out of this, you know, what a what the new world looks like, what a post pandemic and you know, post global civil rights movement world looks like and how we could help shape that. And we started to think about the economy and how we could rebuild that with equity in mind. And, you know, everything that we thought about came back down to culture um, as, as kind of a driver and culture as a response, culture as the answer. And so that's where we decided to, to go all in and support um, culture within the creative economy as a way to rebuild and revive Indianapolis and, you know, our, our larger economy. Yeah, so just, just the overall purpose of, of Gang Gang is to produce, promote, and preserve culture uh, in, in cities. And so there's no place to do that than right here in, in Indianapolis. And then we believe that, you know, as we've talked so much just the past six months about what divides the country, we believe that through culture is the, you know, human connective tissue that brings us together. So we're, we're trying to focus more on culture, trying to focus on, you know, just art and design and, and fashion and music and, and food and those things that are within the creative economy that we can uh, help to uh, amplify and uh, you know, really just increase the uh, importance of those things as it relates to city economic development and other things. that uh, Gang Gang uh, is very audacious and, and very bold, but also uh, there's a you know cultural undertone as a reference to the Black experience in America. And, um, you know, Molly is a big work person who kind of researched the origins of the word gang, and we felt that it was uh, even a, a bigger compliment to what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, the original meaning of the word gang was going or a journey. And then later in Middle English, it was a set of things or people which go someplace together. So, you know, the modern kind of use of the word, you know, being used to kind of criminalize groups of black men is actually not the definition of gang. It's just kind of what's been adopted. And so we are using it um, in its original definition, which is people on a journey together. Actually, a lot of energy, you know, not surprisingly, or, uh, you know, within organizations and corporations and even the private sector to put uh, resources around ideas that will impact racism, right? That will impact equity. And so we're all about collaboration for 2021, and we're all about elevating the the subject around culture being an industry, and that you know, even in our city, in Indianapolis, it's something that you know we should leverage. We've got cultural assets and we can leverage that to become more of a cultural destination. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be pushing for in 2021. Well, we wanna thank Molly Jeffers and Alan Bacon for talking to us for this interview. You can find out more about Gang Gang's work online at ganggangculture.com.